Winning that fight finally allowed me to unlock the game plan ability, so I was looking through the options and there was one that kept catching my eye. I'm already a heavy hitter as it is, and then adding heavy handed would just make my right hook that much more vicious, so it's the only option I could have taken. When it came to distributing all of the attribute points I got, there was a few things I knew I needed to work on. First of all, I wanted to get my blocking up there because I wasn't happy with that. I wanted to be able to get my punches out there faster. I needed to add some more power just for my own sake. I want that right hook to stay devastating. Up my takedown defense, my body health, and my chin health to make sure no one can knock me out. I also decided to change to a more over-the-top looping right hook to hopefully go over some blocks and come down on the temple a little bit harder and make knockouts that much more devastating. And finally, I wanted to add a little bit more on my side in terms of the mental edge. So I went back to the original pink Valetudo trunks, the nut huggers that just display my ball joke so nicely I mean if you're gonna take me down you're gonna have these rubbing all over you and do you want this rubbing all over you look at it I don't think you do so you better not take me down after I was done in the wardrobe department and got another message from Joe Silva my next fight had been set up it was Luis Rodriguez he was another puncher another tall puncher and undefeated it's gonna be a hard fight the next thing I know in the blink of an eye it was fight night let's get right to it It's a heavyweight showcase between the Gorilla and Big Train. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of two wins, no losses. Standing six feet tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Look, look, USA, Martinez! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting... Luis Rodriguez, he's going to be a tough opponent. He's undefeated, which means he's pretty good. He's a boxer, which means he could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with me. He's 6'4". I'm going to have to deal with his height. 238. I can't throw him around. But you know what? He said I don't belong in the ring with him, and I don't belong ranked higher than him. Let's show him that he's wrong. Let's do this. I'm hoping, yeah, I hope you guys like my new trunks right here, the tight pink underwear right here. I, I'm hoping that it kind of puts him off his game a little bit because who expects to get knocked out by a dude wearing tight pink trunks? Nobody, of course. I've also been working on my right and left hooks a little bit. I actually unlocked the overhand right that I've been trying to get for a while. And if it knocks him out, I'm going to be really, really happy. Oh, that's the one right there. That's the one I want to hit him with. That's a knockout punch. Oh, caught him with it. Caught him with it. He's, he's mixing it up. He's a boxer too, so he he has hands just as good as mine. But he doesn't have a ground game. Oh, oh, oh! He definitely doesn't have a stand-up game either. Let me take him out. Let me take him out. Oh, he recovered nicely. He's actually the first one to get out of my full mount after I rocked him like that. Let's see, let's see, let's, let's see what he has. Let's see how much heart he has. Come on, come on, baby. I'm gonna work the jab on him. Oh, he worked the jab on me. Shit. Oh shit. Coming back for him. It's a slugfest early on. Okay. I see him. Oh my God! I think it's it. That's over. <laughs> that was an absolute slugfest. I might have gotten knocked out of the night. I'm hoping I got knocked out of the night. Wasn't even the right hook this time. It was a left hook. Well, I mean, it was following like 20 right hooks to his face. Ooh, made him smell my feet a little bit. Caught him with the left hook that I told you I was working on at the beginning of the fight. And Luis Rodriguez with night night. I guess putting me high in the rankings wasn't a mistake after all, was it? Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 32 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Martinez! Big train. Big train, baby, let me hear it. You already know, keeps on rolling. New attire, got some new tricks in my freaking skill book. Still the same old power, though. 3-0, we're climbing up the rankings. I'm not sure who I have next, but they better get ready because the big train is coming. Perfect when is to knock someone out. There are times when I see the opening right before it happens, and I know this is gonna be the end of it. There's nothing like the feeling of a knockout because it happens so fast. 
but yet it goes in such slow motion. You know, you feel it going from your fist to your elbow to your shoulder all the way down to your hip, and they just crumble. Sometimes you'll, it doesn't even feel like you hit a guy, and they just go down. I punched him, it felt like a pillow, it really did. And he's bending over backwards. All of a sudden the cage is shaking, it feels like an earthquake and everybody's yelling and screaming and it was pretty amazing. I think that's, that's in our DNA. I think every man wants to be dominant when it comes to being able to perform in a fight. Probably the best feeling you could have. Hey man, it's Eve. I just saw your last fight. That was absolutely awesome, man. Just keep it up. Talk to you soon. Hi, I'm Forrest Griffin, and you just knocked that fella out. Good job. I don't want you to feel bad. You were supposed to knock him out. No, he's never going to hear right again, and he probably isn't going to recognize his family when he sees him. But the important thing is that you won. Hi, I'm Forrest Griffin, and that's an incredible winning streak. I've never done anything like that. You, therefore, are better than me. Congratulations. See, I appreciated the kind words from Forrest Griffin, but I'm really not sure why he needed to introduce himself twice and send me two different messages for something he could have said in just one long message. But you know what? I didn't have time to worry about that. My next fight was set up. It was Mikhail Smirnoff, and it was about three weeks away. I went back into the abilities and I unlocked the new game plan option. I added stop hitter just so my punches would be a little bit more devastating and have a better chance to wobble someone. And then we decided to go back to the gym and maybe add a couple of more techniques to my game. Worked on some takedowns, worked on some kicks, worked on some knees. We'll see if I have to implement them, but right now it's fight night again and it's time to show everyone that Big Train isn't a flash in the pan. Let's do this. Coming up next. This may very well be a stand-up war between Primetime and Big Train. See, I'm starting to think that Joe Silva, when he emails me to tell me what the next matchup is, he just makes up some bullshit about the other fighter insulting me because, you know what, I come home, I sleep, I wake up in the morning, I train, I don't say anything to anybody. I'm just a humble guy. I just like fighting, I like training, I, I really love eating. I never said anybody, anything about anybody, yet apparently this Mr. Mikhail Smirnov over here He's been talking crap because he thinks that I'm too low of a rank to be matched up with him in the ring. I'm not sure if he really said that if Joe Silva's just trying to get me riled up, but it worked. Because uh, I'll just let you know that if he thinks that I'm not good enough to match up with him in the ring, then I hope he has plenty of his namesake at home because he's going to have to drink away his pain tonight. The good thing, you see, he's 8-2-0. It's a good record. The good thing for me is that he's 5'10", which means he's actually shorter than me. For the first time, I'm facing someone that isn't like six inches taller than me. And he's only 212 pounds, so he's about 40 pounds below where I am. So hopefully my right-handed power and the weight behind it is going to be too overwhelming for him to overcome. There's only one way to find out. Let's do this. He's already starting with the kicks. I see. It's, the thing said he was a boxer, so I'm not sure why he's kicking so early. But uh, I'm not sure how damaging his leg strikes are. It doesn't seem like it rocked me too much, but that rocked him. God damn. There we go. We've been working on a lot of different techniques, kicks and clinching and wrestling and things like that. I'm probably not going to implement them in this fight right here. I'm not too comfortable with them so far. And I just like the way my right hand feels when it goes through people's faces. So that's what I'm going to be trying to land still. That's what I'm comfortable with. That's what I've won with so far, just like that. And I think I got him already. Let's see. He's, he's done. He's unconscious. He's unconscious. Get the hell out of here. Get out of here. Forno, baby. Jesus. Hit him so hard. Uh... Freaking uh, Goldberg over here had to say it is all over twice. You heard that? He had to repeat himself. I ended this match so quickly. He kind of looks like Chuck Liddell, both in face wise and the fact that he's knocked out on his back. Lead up to the TKO. We can see it here on a different angle. There are some big shots getting through here. And with the official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at one minute, two seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO Martinez. Big Train keeps rolling. 4-0. Four, no. Four fight win streak. That's actually damn pretty damn good. I still haven't lost a freaking uh, ounce of weight either. 
Maybe if I actually cut to something, I might be able to fight it. Thanks, yeah. I wonder if you could fight at 205. I wonder if you could pull a Roy Nelson and lose your stomach, and then I'll be going against John Bones Jones and that crew down there. But either way, we're still improving. I, I expected these fights to be longer. I'll probably, since the last fight was short, and this fight was pretty short, I'll probably mix them both into one video for you guys so you don't have, like, two five-minute videos that <laughs> tease you don't really deliver the performance. I didn't get knocked out of the night. Kitty Abba got knocked out of the night. Damn, he just robbed me of, like, $40,000. Oh, well, I'll, ma I'll make up that money somewhere in the long run after I'm champion. I'm Big Ray Online. We're still rolling on. Big Train has not come to the stop yet. I'll see you on the next one.